thank the gentlelady from Wyoming. Um, Ms. Clark, when you were a private citizen, not in the position you were in, in April of 2020, there was a uh, protest in front of the Texas State Capitol building. I've got a video I'm looking at right now. It's actually right under my old office when I worked for Governor Rick Perry, sitting in the front of the Texas Capitol building. There was people, Americans gathered, Texans, chanting, fire Fauci. Uh, you tweeted, uh, quote, these people should be publicly identified and named, barred from treatment at any public hospital, if and when they fall ill, and denied coverage under their insurance, end quote. That is a tweet. Now, earlier I asked you to repudiate um, the statement about defunding police, and you neither repudiated nor, I think, stood by it. I think you obfuscated around it. My question to you, as the head of the Civil Rights Division, so civil rights, civil liberties of the United Americans, you said these people should be public, identified, and named, barred from treatment at any public hospital if and when they fall ill and denied coverage under their insurance for chanting fire Fauci. Does the gentlelady stand by that statement? Um, I believe that every American should have access to health care in our country. I don't know the context for that statement. It, I imagine it was issued during the heat of the pandemic, but, uh, but, but Chair, I, I sit before you with a uh, commitment to ensuring that all Americans are treated fairly and equally under the law. So I'll take that as a no to standing uh, by that statement. Um, and. Uh, um, similarly to the statement earlier in the hearing. Um, but with that, uh, that concludes today's hearing. We thank you, Ms. Clark, for appearing before the committee. Uh, without objection, all members will have five legislative days to submit additional written questions for the witness or additional materials for the record. Without objection, this hearing is adjourned.